time for Build a Story Time. Our story of the week this week is Planting a Rainbow by Lois Ellert. See all the beautiful flowers on the front? Our theme for this week is flowers. Spring is officially here and there are lots of flowers that you can find in your own neighborhood. This book is published by Harcourt. Every year, Mom and I plant a rainbow. In the fall, we buy some bulbs and plant them in the ground. Bulbs are a special kind of seed that stay in the ground all the time and then the plant comes out when the weather is warm and then it goes back down when the weather gets cold again. We have an orange tiger lily bulb, red tulip, orange tulip, daffodil, blue hyacinth, purple crocus, and purple bearded iris. I wonder what these flowers are going to look like. We order seeds from catalogs and wait all winter. We have phlox, morning glory, zinnia, aster, cornflower, marigold, and daisy. For spring to warm the soil and sprout the bulbs. So those are our bulbs from before. And now that the sun has come out, the weather is getting warmer. Those plants are starting to grow. Then it's time to go to the garden center to select some seedlings. Seedlings are plants that have already started to grow. Rose, poppy, delphinium, violet, pansy, fern, and carnation. We sow the seeds and set out the plants in soil. They're all ready to go. And watch the rainbow grow. And grow. And grow. We have some red flowers, tulips, carnations, rose, and orange flowers, tulip, zinnia, tiger lily, and poppy. What color comes next? Some yellow blooms, daisy, marigold, and daffodils. After yellow comes green, we grow something green, the ferns. After green comes some blue flowers, morning glories, delphinium, hyacinth, and cornflowers. And then last, some purple flowers, crocus, phlox, iris, violets, and asters and pansies. All summer long, we pick them and bring them home. And when summer is over, we know we can grow our rainbow again next year. Do you think that you could find a rainbow in your neighborhood? Maybe go for a walk and see what color flowers you can find. You can even go for a drive around town, participate in daffodil days, and see how many daffodils you can find. There's some beautiful ones over at Sunset Pond right near the library. Check out our song of the week and our rhyme of the week for more flower fun. <laughs> 